Hello everyone and welcome to another um, Mega Man series uh, playthrough. We are playing today uh, Mega Man 3. Entire playthrough of Mega Man 3. Uh, welcome, wel welcome back my co-host Breeze Bruin. What's good? <laughs> what are you, cat, got your tongue? Yeah. <laughs> and your, um, your host Gino J for you know it's a good time in gaming so we're gonna get started right away and play Mega Man 3 all right okay I like the intro for this the the music I heard uh, a rock a metal remix to the intro for this it sounds awesome let's go all right he didn't want to let me listen to the um, to the intro so he crushed my soul just there <laughs> okay so this I, game's um but you'll find this game is definitely a bit harder than Mega Man 2. Yeah, so before we start, okay, so let's let's uh, talk about the boss. Yeah, let's well, let's talk about how this is different than Mega oh. Man 2. My bad. <laughs> I didn't even mean okay, to you know, rewind that shit. Uh, finish speaking. Okay, there you go. So, um, yes, uh, I believe what uh, Breeze was saying is, is yes, the the bosses here are slightly more difficult, so I would say in a sense the difficulty in terms of um, fighting uh, and the damage you receive from the bosses sort of is a little similar to Mega Man 1, the difficulty side, but um, not really because you have now a lot of help from uh, the items that you can pick up. You can actually pick up a lot more E-Tanks. Like, a yeah. crap ton of uh, E-Tanks that really help you. Um, of course, the one-up pickups uh, is, I think, almost limitless. I, I don't know if you can pick up a lot of those. So really, it's not too bad, but uh, the bosses are really tanky. They are very tanky. So you're definitely starting off at a slight disadvantage. I have a certain pattern that I pick. But I'm gonna let Breeze go ahead and sneak uh, me and start out. And uh, if he has any any uh, help that he needs, maybe he needs to have because he just needs to go ahead. <laughs> but a B big snake fan, so let's go. I um definitely the thing that we're gonna bring up is uh, in this game there's actually uh, two weakness chains instead of just uh, one uh, chain, uh, one boss to the last. Um, it's kind of weird. It's it's the only Mega Man that's like this. Um, starting with uh, Snake Man, Gemini Man, and uh, Needle Man, all have their own weakness chain. While the other five uh, Robot Masters, uh, were Top Man, Shadow Man, Hard Man, Magnet Man, and uh, uh, who's the last? Shadow Man, Shadow Man, Top Man, Hard Man, Magnet Man, and Spark Man all have their own weakness chain. Those two chains. In this game, and it's only like so that. So what do you mean by that? They they could be harmed by two two different robot master weapons? No, I mean what I mean is that they have their own set of uh, weaknesses. Um, they don't. Uh, for example, if you if I I'm doing Snake Man right now, Snake Man kills uh, Gemini Man. Yeah. Gemini Man kills Needle Man, but Needle oh, Man kills Snake Man. Oh, I see. Man. I see what you're talking about. You're talking about a boss order, right? Yeah. Oh, that's. There's what you're two chains. About. There's two weak two uh, chains of weakness. Essentially. Okay. So you start with Snake Man, right? Snake Man. I mean, Snake Man is the easiest of the of the second chain to deal with. He I, still hurts. I I, mean, I still always hurts. start with Top Man. He's probably the easiest to deal yeah, with. I always I always deal with him first. Thing is, uh, with these wall masters, you don't want to make contact with them when you're fighting them. They do an insane amount of damage to you. Usually, way more than their weapons do, depending on what kind of weapon it is, though. This weakness chain particularly uh, deals a pretty hefty amount of damage. Needle Man and Gemini Man in particular. Yeah. And uh, Shadow Man when we eventually come to him. I'd, I'd say Shadow Man, maybe not infamously, but he, I'd, I think he's probably one of the hardest robot masters without his weakness to kill. But we'll fight with him when we get to him. So, the quick background story on Mega Man 3 is um, you defeated. Dr. Wily twice, and uh, from what I remember reading in the manual uh, all those years ago when I was a kid, 
is um, Dr. Wiley has agreed to, supposedly agreed to change his ways and help Dr. Light um, on a project to build a an enormous uh, peacekeeping robot uh, that would protect the world from any threats. Yes. Um, and we obviously know what's going to happen, right? Because <laughs> Dr. Wiley can't be trusted. Okay. So what, uh, what happens is um, Dr. Light requires, coincidentally, he requires eight elements uh, from eight different worlds. Uh, and on those eight different worlds, there are uh, mines, eight different mines. And Mega Man needs to find these elements in order to complete the giant peacekeeping robot who goes by the name of Gamma. Yep. So you're um, you're sent on a mission. It's supposed to be really a pickup mission, but um, apparently for some reason all the robot masters that are controlling the mind they uh, they go uh, berserk like this guy here and. Uh, you have to end up going on a hunt mission now uh, in order to not only get the element but also to end the ro robot rampage on each of the mines. This uh, boss in particular, Snake Man, was, um, he was designed with the ability to create these little um, robot snakes uh, to traverse in uh, small uh, corridors and caverns. Nice. But uh, Snake Man is uh, actually not too hard. Yeah, just get this middle platform and then you just mow him down. And he's even easier with his weakness. Nice. <laughs> yeah. You'll um you'll die to Snake Man mostly by him touching you rather than his actual snakes killing you. Yeah, I I've screwed up so many times fighting against Snake Man. Um I forget that you have the big platform there. Sorry, the tall platform there in the middle that you can easily just juke use him to with. jump, yeah, just yeah. juke him out and jump right over him every time he goes at you. So who are you choosing next? Uh, we go after Gemini Man. Okay. And this is definitely where we can where we tell um, that some of these stages take place take, pla take place on different worlds. Like when I was a kid, I used to think this was like Antarctica or something because like, yeah. maybe I thought that was ice. But if you look at it, it's really strange. Well, let's let's look at it this way. I guess we can look at it where the background you're seeing is a space, space. and you're on a ice moon. Like an icy moon planet, Something like and that. the mine, the caverns, uh, to the mines, whatever, they're underground, right? So, um, and one thing I wanted to know is if you were to go after someone like Gemini Man um, without his weakness, you'll have a hard time. That, yeah, you'll have a hard time because that, then you'll realize how hard Mega Man Three can actually be without the weakness. Definitely, yeah. And we'll, we'll get to Gemini Man when we get to him. Yeah. Oh yeah, and one thing we forgot to uh, talk about was uh, the new feature in this game, which is Slide. <laughs> which has become the part, a staple part of Mega Man's uh, arsenal for a long time to come. Pretty much every other game uh, after this, except for a few, a few exceptions. I think it was taken away uh, by yeah. 9, right? Yeah, by 9, uh, yes, by 9 and 10, he does not have that was, it. That was due to a uh, fan, uh, fan request. Yeah. They wanted to back the old school Mega Man, which is great, because I like the old school Mega Man. Mega Man I mean, 1, Mega Man the 2. The slide <laughs> is great, but I mean, having it just, you know, the way it was before, no Mega Buster, uh, no slide, it's great. I think I think I can, I can go without the Mega Buster, but I definitely I'm too used I'm used to the slide. The slide is very nice. Yeah, the slide is cool. Egg. Mega Man slide is like Mario Super Jump that he gets in Super Mario World, where he uh, crouches down and then jumps yeah. high. That's like Mario's signature. You want to make some omelet? Yeah, make some egg. Jump into that little, yeah, right, right there. I wonder if, um, if like Super Mario, Super Mario World and those games are on uh, the Switch or anything as like a downloadable game, like a downloaded version, downloadable version. No, on the Switch. Um, no, that's uh, we're, we're, we're sidetracking a bit. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, if you get a monthly subscription, um, 
you can play NES games and they're on there, the original Mario Brothers and even Super Mario 3 is there. And so is Super Mario sorry, Super Mario 3, 2, and 1, they're all there. Nice. I think Super Mario World is there too. The one Super Mario World's a good game. That's uh, the first game. Do you have the Russian Rain? Uh, I do not. Ah uh, man, see that's why I follow my order. Okay, so But it's not too oh for that. I don't, I'm trying not to get rushed to call him. Okay. Right. Watch like, here, watch like here, fireworks. watch these, uh, these fish that are coming up. Shoot fireworks. I'm gonna ignore that life. Kill that dragonfly. Those, uh, those missiles. But the E tank, okay. I don't really want to ignore the E tank. No, no, no. Yeah, get it? Okay. Now use your, uh. L lives are, um, are, dis are uh, how do you say, dispensable, but not E tanks. <laughs> yeah, no, E tanks, you want to have E tanks. Jump, jump. Yeah, once they hit a brick, those two, the thing explode. So the dragon right, nice. Watch yourself. Just gotta watch out for these dragonflies and these stupid fish shooting bombs. Watch out. Oh, and the game's starting to get laggy. There's two little E tanks right here. That's perfect. Oh, these things are amazing, little froggers. <laughs> and this guy... Just this guy over you know, here. this guy near the, the, the entrance of the boss uh, lair reminds me of those big things with the little cyclops things that shoot up with the... Uh, that jump up in uh, Mega Man 1. That do a lot of damage if they touch you. Alright, Gemini Man. No? Gemini Man's little gimmick is he creates a clone of himself and whenever you shoot, uh, he shoots, I think. Yeah. No, the clone shoots. And got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. There we go. <laughs> yeah, and as you can see, they hurt when they touch you. Yeah. That's Gemini, man. I'm not really too sure this, what this, they, this is. This is cool how they did this, where he, after they blow up, he jumps in the middle of the room and he absorbs okay. the power. <laughs> it's cool. I and like how they did this too here. Gemini, ladies. Where it displays that they, the, uh, the different color, the, the different color palette that you can use to. Okay, so uh, we'll actually wrap it up here. Uh, we killed two, two bosses and we'll continue on with our Mega Man 3 playthrough uh, on the next episode. So we will see you then.